This is the prison of the plains on normal. I'm just going to use the my offensive buffs and greater heroism for this quest. Since it's only on normal. The door opens. And the first the part of this quest the is basically getting to the top of the structure, the clearing some enemies. With the day of war. Does it serve to keep you out? Or something etched into the wall ahead? Is the symbol for the and so you make that first right. Below it is a switch and a receptor shaped to take And then this is this is very important. You want to go. So I'm taking a little bit of fire damage. That means that's going to be not too much, but that means that's going to be pretty big numbers on on Reaper or Elite mode. The chamber on Elite mode instead of Reaper mode. The once lone symbol of Eris is lifeless at its center. All right, so um, we came in, we made a right, and now we make this first left and look at this scroll. So uh, you can make out down, down, up, up. So to make sure you don't forget this, just type in party chat, D-D-U-U. -U. So uh, it's just you and the hireling, so it really won't matter. But it's easy to forget that, and that's basically telling you what the what the Solution is to, to a puzzle we're going to get, not, not a puzzle, but to something we're going to get to later. Alright, and so you just clear these enemies. We're going to go back to all these rooms later. So I'm going to give myself fire resist here, because it seems like I'm going to give my hireling fire resist. Another barrier blocks access to the Dio Core chamber. It would seem that this chamber holds great importance. Probably should give myself shield too. And um, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to these rooms later. But for now, we're just kind of clearing the clearing the path up. The chamber marked by the symbol of Kithri now lies in ruins. One of Nimbus's lieutenants. I guess I should show you this fight. We could probably pick the lock, but uh, this guy has a key, and uh, we won't get the key until basically we go talk to the guy. But um, we could also pick lock, and I think our pick lock is high enough. In fact, I at least want to try it. Um, you know, I've I've done that on a uh, caster that has. Um, like the knock spell, and that's a much lower, you know, DC than the actual Yet pick lock skill, even our pick lock barrier. skill. Whatever was imprisoned within this chamber must have been. But we'll go back and get the fight if I can't pick it. And then we could just, we get here, we could just uh, switch to our pick lock item, give ourselves skill boost, progress. and then see if we can pick it. Failed on a 5, let's try and uh, see if we can get it on a higher number. It means we're probably going to, failed on a 10, means we're probably not going to be able to do this for sure on Elite. So I'm just going to go do the fight, since we're going to have to know how to do that. Now we have to go, go back and talk to Karim.
So, uh, well, I can try bluff. I'm guessing, uh, let me try it. I'm guessing it's even on normal, it's not enough. Yeah. So now we've we tried bluffing him. He didn't like our bluff, and now we have to fight him. So he gives us the gold key to get in the door. I, I might try picking it again just to see what I, you know, if I can get it. But uh, it was very, you know, it's very informative. So if you're failing at a 10 on normal, then there's probably no way you're on elite. You know, there's a, there's no chance you're going to be able to pick that lock. Maybe on a 20, but uh, we'll probably want to get that key. So I wanted to show you how that worked. But I'm going to try to pick that lock just to see what number, you know, if I'm able to get it on a higher score, like a 17 or 18. Success on a 16, so I didn't have to. I didn't have to use the, the key. door opens to reveal some kind of control room. But uh, still, if Fill I'm failing on a 10 on the normal, there's no way I'm going to succeed on that on elite. So the plan is going to be just to get the key, unless I can get my open lock up significantly. Okay, so here's you have these wheels, right? And so they're all in the up position. And we typed in party chance down, down, up, up. So we just changed these first two valves to down to match what the message said. Here's the words journal. And then once we do that, we could turn this wheel. As the valve locks into place, and that the opens up the center. The central chamber vanishes. So this was a barrier here. Now it's open. So we just jump down. Eight receptors cover the walls of the large central chamber. And grab it. It is likely all must be filled for the chamber to open its planar cell. And then head up. So this first chamber uh, requires somebody that's lawful. So fortunately I'm lawful, so I could do this. This is an easy one. It's just a talking to room. Uh, we'll put this in here. And this is very important. Bring your hireling over here. Have him stand his ground, but put him on passive. Because what's going to happen is he's going to try running through the barrier and die. And so you want him to be alive in case you die so that you could have him raise you. So you want to keep him on passive so he doesn't try to attack things through the barrier and end up dying. So keep the lever highlighted. Passive stand his the ground and then the activate it. Glows and you can see you get this barrier. The plane of opens. And so... And perfectly aligned shrubbery you just want to give this guy the lawful answers. I think they're the An same every time. Sitting atop a uh, I respect law. Closer. First one. And then um, for this one, uh, confront him and demand he refuses such pra practices. And then on this one, I step in and stop the robbery. And at this one, hold him at the border and observe his health over time. And this one, uh, refuse the charm but offer a woman a coin. And this one, file a complaint up the chain of command and risk your captain's wrath. And for this one, pay taxes on the true amount of your windfall. I will protect it and honor it as the bearer of justice and, and that completes this room. Most of the rooms the room are fighting. This one is just the answering the questions. The and I believe they're, I mean, they're pretty straightforward, but I believe they're in DDO Wiki. Still. All right, so now we grab, after, once this electric stops, we grab these two receptors. And then what I normally like to do is just take these receptors and drag them to my inventory. I'm going to put them over this undermine charge thing. And so we have two. Once we have six, we can stop. We don't need to keep clearing rooms. So now I'll have my hireling come with me. The second room is where we got the scroll. We, um, it's basically caved in. It's not uh, usable. All right. And so we got messages when we got near here. This is, so I'm going to put one of these in here. And again, I'm going to have the hireling stand his ground and put him on passive that's very important 
and the passive is so he doesn't try to attack stuff through the wall. I like the lever. This chamber is marked by the symbol of Dola. And this is going to be a Marut, so I've got my Anarchic Maul. To the plane of Dola, and you want the Anarchic Maul against this guy, he's got a lot of damage reduction. And then back to my sword. And this is incredibly easy on normal, obviously. The orbs at the back of the room. But it's a good, it's a good place to. I mean, it, the nice thing about doing all these quests as free to play on normal, hard, and elite, or normal, hard, and reaper, as has mostly been the case, is that you really learn the quests well uh, before you get to the higher difficulties. So um, it's almost like, you know, almost like a, a, like you know, it's the way that it has to work for free to play, but it's also the best way it would work anyways. All right, so here's I have now up to three, but I have to put one here. I'm going to put my hireling here, stand his ground, confirm he's still on passive, highlight the recept the switch, the symbol and then for start the this one. Of Fernia is so this is, Fernia this is chamber, fire. And every surface is covered with a thick layer of ash. As the plane of Fernia becomes and here's the boss. But there's a bunch of other things we have to also kill, besides the boss, fire elementals. And then we haven't seen it yet, but two of these rooms are going to have a chest. And so, um, I mean, I'm not sure if it's just coincidence or if that's the way it was designed, but the rooms, the first rooms are rel are kind of easier, and as you get as you progress, the rooms get harder. The last two rooms are particularly hard. So I'm going to do all the rooms on normal just to show you what they're like, and then I'm going to do the minimum six. Like right now we have four, so we only need to get to six. All right, so I'm going to put the hireling, stand the ground, passive, and the then pull the switch. By the symbol of and this, this is going to be a air elementals and then the Dijan. And this guy, he goes invulnerable and kind of knocks us down like an air elemental. So, but we can get this air, this air elemental and other things in the meantime. You want to try to avoid being near the barrier because you can get knocked down in the barrier. Okay, so now he's vulnerable again. When he's dead, they're vulnerable, though, there's nothing you can do. The twilight forest receives. All right, so no chests. That's okay. And the receptors and grab these sparkle. receptors. And now we're up to five. So I'm going to have the hireling follow me. All right, this is where we convince the guy to give us the key the hard way. All right, so this is a vampire fight. We're really good against vampires with our Barovian weapon. Uh, the Barovian weapon has silver, holy, fiery, undead bane, all of which works great on the vampire. The vampire's damage reduction is silver, so that's great. All right, so he's on standard ground and passive, and now we're and we have this the lever highlighted. The symbol of Maybar marks this chamber. The plane of Maybar opens, and darkness surrounds. It. All right, so we got a chest. The chest is going to be in two rooms, and it's going to be random. We grab these receptors, and now I'm at six. So I could actually go to the end fight now, but I'm not going to because I want to show you all the rooms. All right, well, we got a named item, uh, Ring of Shadows. So uh, hide, move silently, plus 10. Could be useful if we're ever more stealthy, and then dusk 10%. We actually, I believe we have dust 10% on our trinket already. So, um, you know, it could fit into a different gear set. It doesn't fit into our current gear set. But it's pretty good because on normal, the drop rate's kind of low. So it's kind of nice that we got this named item. All right, so at this point, we'd be done. We go to the end fight. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do these other fights just to show them to you. And this next one, uh, make sure they're uh, uh, kind of stand, stand around and passive. 
So she, if she's not in passive, she'll try to run through the barrier and die. The symbol for the plane of Rizia fills this chamber and Rizia's with cold, an icy so hue. I'm gonna give myself cold the resist and have her press the lever. Chill. As the portal to Rizia opens, a rhyme of Returns to your fingers as the final and we got the second chest. So there's only going to be two chests, so we have them all. I don't. I'm going to pick these up. I only need six, but I'm just going to pick them up anyways. And um, we got some uh, random, no named items. We got some random loot here. All right, and that's the Rizia room. All right, now we start getting into the tougher rooms. Stand her ground and passive. Highlight the switch. The chamber and have her press it. By the symbol this of is going to be a demon. You find and this demon hits really, really hard. As the plane of but Shabbat then again, it is, it is normal, so she's squishy. She's actually squishy on Elite, but she hits really hard. The orbs in the receptors are now on, on Elite. And dark. We're going to be a higher level, so we're going to be pretty overpowered for the level. So I don't think there'll be any problem on Elite, like, at all, when we get there. All right, so there's... This is a shrine, and then there's one more room to do, and it's a Beholder room. And I'm going to real quick do my daily dice here while it's active. Didn't notice it earlier. It was active earlier. And I got... Oh, wow! 750 experience points and a lesser experience elixir. I'm going to lock that. Um, it's 10%, uh, so that'll that's the same thing you get from small Eberron Dragon Shard Fragments. So I'm going to use that when I get to my Reaper run at level 30. All right, so I'm going to put this orb in, get her close to the switch, have her standard ground, make sure the passive is, is active, is highlighted. This and then this is going to be Beholders blood red and Mind Flayers. Very tough, tough the room. In the wall as the portal opens. The beholders are also pretty squishy, and we're actually pretty good against beholders. But um, we have to kind of jump up to hit them. And mind flayers have this ability to eat our brains, so dangerous room. I'm gonna use uh, charisma damage. I'm gonna use my restoration quickie. All right, I'm gonna grab these. No, there's only two rooms with chests. They're random. And that's it. So we've gotten all the rooms. Um, so now I'm going to head up. Actually, I'm going to head down before I head up. I guess heading up was actually the best way to go. But um, any place that has an opening in the middle. We're just going to jump down. And any of these that have a, uh, a receptor, we're going to put the orb in. Make sure you don't double click, because if you double click, you remove it. So you want to make sure it's in there before you leave. And then uh, you'll know when you get six of these put in, you'll get the message that indicates you're ready to go. And I still have three left because I did more rooms than needed. Almost imperceptibly, a fragment of Dale Core, the plane of Drew, fades into the room. So now that that's done, the switch is activated. And so um, you want to make sure before you pull the switch, you, you know your plan to get down. The plan is basically go here and jump down left because it is uh, the door, the barrier will close. So you just basically pull the switch, the switch and there's a countdown, place. 10 second countdown. A magical voice comes and from then you above. just want to jump down. 
the chamber will seal on the count of ten. And so it's sealed already. So you didn't have, there wasn't much time there. And then, uh, we're going to talk to this Warforged. And basically, we need to defeat this Warforged. And there's other stuff in there, but you really only need the Warforged. And you can see I'm getting nailed with magic missiles, so we we'll want to make sure I have my shield spell on when I'm running some higher difficulty. Charisma damage. I'm going to do my big. Myself restore. And then you just keep hitting him until he's down. Warforged does not let up either his Atakori and the Ancient. All right, then we just clear it out, and you can see he dropped an ancient docent. Any other secrets it held are now lost. This docent. I'm gonna use my restore. Want to keep your charisma damage up? All right, so right where he died, there's this ancient docent. Docent. Uh, get this pirling out of the way. It's very important that you click on this. A dark once and once only. Stirs within the docent. It would be safer to let Nimbus collect. If you touch it again, you die instantly. Safe. So you don't want to touch it again. When I was relatively new, I touched that twice and died. I was able to get myself raised, but um, you know, if you're soloing with a hireling, the hireling can raise you, but you don't want to push your luck uh, and die there. So, and the quest is not over. So that's the other thing there. You, you want to make sure you get the quest complete. So now we have to go back up to the talk, top and talk to Nimbus. Here, to end the quest. And that's in the objective report back to Nimbus. All right, I'm gonna just pause it while I go get my end reward. All right, so Nimbus um, gives us a reward. That would have been really nice if it was with um, Death Block at the end, but I can't give up my Death Block yet. Um, some pretty nice items. I mean, I'm really looking for Stats 8. I have boots that are level 15 and Stats 8. Uh, these are level 14 items, so but this looks pretty good. I might be able to sell this on the Auction House. Let me grab this. And then I'm going to go talk to Sidoni. I'm going to pause it while I go to Sidoni. And Sidoni... Uh, sends us to a Cabal for One, which is the next quest. So that is uh, Prison of Planes on uh, Normal.